موسا علیہ السلات والسلام comes to Pharaoh to give him the Dawud as Allah had sent him and assigned him. So when he comes to Pharaoh and he gives Pharaoh the Dawud, you know what does Pharaoh say to him? وَفَعَلْتَ فَعْلَتَكَ الَّتِي فَعَلْتَ وَأَنْتَ مِنَ الْكَافِرِينَ My word. But Musa, you shouldn't be talking about anything because you know what? You've killed one person. You've killed a person. How can you talk? Pharaoh whose entire existence is stained with blood. Head to toe, the man is drowning in the blood of tens of thousands of children. And you have the audacity to blow the so-called whistle and put Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam. These are the words of the Quran. You know what you're up to. You know what you did. You know where you were. You know what you did. <laughs> Alama Abu Hassan Ali Nadwi writes in Qasa so beautiful in, in, in the response of Sayyidina Musa. He says that Amalta Qawmi Mu'amalat al Hamiri wa Dawab wa kunta tazjuruhum zajr al Kilab wa kunta tasumuhum su al Adab fa ayyu fadlin laka idha kafalta tiflam minhum wa dhalika aidan an khata in wa jahlin. O Pharaoh, you butchered my nation. You massacred my people. You destroyed my community. You exploited my people. And then you point in fingers towards me that I had claimed the life of one person which was unintentional, not premeditated, not precalculated. Yours was deliberate. Yours was malicious. Yours was intended. What an irony of a situation. But that is the type of, of oppression that happens in the world. In the end, as someone said, the victim says, it's not the tyranny of the tyrant that hurts us, but it is the silence of our allies that will live with us forever. May Allah bless you all.